Hello, my beautiful Sagittarius Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your June 1st through 30th, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is a collective energy for all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, Royal Mystic. Dot com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. Thank you in advance for the likes and subscribes. You know that helps put out the energy that we're trying to change the world with, all that positivity, and allow other people to enjoy this reading as much as you. So thank you in advance for that. And if you're digging this little backdrop here, remember my affiliate links are right below the recommendations and on books and uh, Gaia TV. So it's right below that. It is Tamed Wild. That is where this came from. And you'll get a discount code if you check out the description below the video. And we'll go right on into the energy. Okay, we've got action. We've got the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. This is describing the prompting you will get from the universe that is saying it's now time for you to take take hold of the reins and go for it. You know it's time because you're going to feel the urge and it's going to prompt you from external. This night is always about that push. Then you've got the Queen of Pentacles, which means the stability of financial assurance as that beautiful gold pillar holds you steady and stable and you have direct access to your abundance. It is in hand, so you don't have to go and, and ask permission to spend it. You've got free reign on it. So lots of abundance coming in. The Queen of Pentacles is the new because it is a feminine energy. It's creative. So it's not old energy. This may be from what you put away and squirreled away from the past, but this coin in her hand, she's in that energy of creating something new with it. So it could be a new job or new physical opportunity that comes in to assist you with this financial abundance. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine spirit. Okay, we got another night, and this is the offer. So this is taking action, and this is a genuine offer being extended. So authenticity comes with this energy, so you know it's not, they're not pulling your leg or, or blowing smoke. They really mean it. So it's either someone telling you what a great job you've done, what a great person you are, or hey, we'd like for you to come work for us because we think you're pretty special. So let's see what else we have. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. And we have that Five of Pentacles, which is the energy of wanting something to happen right now that's not fully ready to, to be brought into the now. So you just have to be patient and let the universe work this out. It is being worked on behind the scenes. And just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. So allow yourself to be patient as the universe forms this wonderful thing. It is in the works. It's coming any minute. And we have the Judgment card, a resurrection energy. This is Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn of resurrection, bringing all things to the surface and bringing back opportunities that you thought were off the table. This is something being renewed, restored, and regenerated. We have the Eight of Wands, which is the energy of very fast-moving opportunities. Fiery wands are the passionate energy of negotiation and communication. So it looks like it is all starting to move in the right direction for you. And there's the offer, the Knight of Cups. It showed up again. So you know this is part of the action. When you get knights, you know it's very fast-moving, and the offer looks like it's already on the way. We have the Ace of Swords. This is clarity. This is victory. This is an ace. It's a gift from divine. So having this beautiful energy to allow you to cut through the clouds, cut through the things that have been holding you back, literally cutting through the ties that bind you or hold you stuck, and you now have the way forward, and you know how to move in that energy as you can move clearly and easily. All things that were holding you back can no longer do so. However, you don't want to go getting grabby here. <laughs> you don't want to get all grabby. These are sharp swords. They're no joke. 
You don't want to be in a place where you're trying to... I've got a... This is obsidian, as you can see his head. Come on, Obi. Let Mommy work. Thank you. Thank you. He likes to, he likes to mess with the cards. So... This is the energy of, of absolutely being in a place where you do not have to control every single thing and you can allow yourself to be fully in the energy of waiting and going within to figure out the result that you truly want, not to have to worry about what's coming in next. You just be still and focus on the outcome you choose. That's why she has on this blindfold so that she's not trying to reach for something. If she's not if she's not aware that it's around her, remember this is the development energy of allowing yourself to be in a place where you are being still and letting the universe work it out. Remember, we're not going to get all uh, nitpicky and start trying to micromanage the universe. This is over analysis paralysis. So be still, create from within, and that's what will fully develop for you. Six of Cups. This is the energy of your soul family. Now, they might be your actual family in this lifetime, but they've been through many lifetimes. And they're here to support you and assist you as you are them. It is an, a, a give and take situation. It is a beautiful energy of harmony, though. And you even have fur babies showing up in that energy. This is your household section. This is the general overview of everything. And these, what, these four sections that are coming are the details. We have the King of Swords, Archangel Michael, always happy to see him show up. He's the energy of protection. He's the energy of being very much in a place of obstacles being removed. And as a person, it can be air sign energy, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini Major Arcana. And in the masculine, it means somebody fully available. Now, if it's about what they do for a living... The, this particular king goes towards specific things, and the specific things are doctor, lawyer, judge, attorney, criminal justice, uh, law, law enforcement, anyone who is in the energy of um, uh, armed services, anyone who is part of the architect, engineer, or scientist guild, right? Being in that kind of energy, very sharp-minded individuals. So solidly in the energy of being a person who, who is always about justice. And that's the energy. And as the king, it's masculine, just like I told you the queen earlier, is about creativity and new beginnings. This is something that's being shored up by the masculine energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles, which is the energy of the Garden of Eden. This is where we are in our self-fulfilling prophecy, believing that the universe continuously conspires in our favor. We receive exactly what we need, exactly when we need it, every single time. And if you're in this energy, it's just like saying, I know that I know that I know that no matter what happens, no matter what, you know, which shoe drops next? The universe is always in a place where it's conspiring for me to come out into my best possible result. Even if people are doing ugly things and trying to, to tank my, my victory, they cannot. This is that moment where you know that you and the universe have an agreement that no one else is, is privy to. And we have the Emperor. This is the Aries Major Arcana, but it is the symbol for the masculine of the universe as well and in this energy this is a fully formed circle okay the beautiful energy of this is all things in balance and complete and the feminine has a framework so that's about filling in the new right so this is something fully actionable as you're absolutely ready to stand in the energy of receiving it with the emperor present so this is a, either a large corporation or you really kicking butt and taking names as the emperor energy. And we have the four of pentacles. This is the energy of, of financial abundance and stability. Money in the bank. This is all career and finance area. So it's, it's showing up really nicely. Stay focused. Keep doing what you need to do and don't worry about good, bad, or indifferent things that might circle or cycle around you. Don't get distracted. Don't look away. You've got your momentum and you want to keep it going. I just want to point out, everything except the emperor is money in your career and finance. And the emperor means being in the place of complete abundance. And here comes the action card that we had earlier, that Knight of Wands. 
He is showing up to, to prompt you to take action. And, well, that's the result of the taking action. Let's all take some action, Saggies. Here's the Ten of Pentacles, which is the abundance of a lifetime. We love the energy of that. And anybody who's like, oh, well, what's that mean? Well, how much is an abundance of a lifetime? I would make your number really big in your mind, okay? Because <laughs> you're the one that sets it for yourself. So we can talk about millions. Let's do that. You don't have to know how. You just have to believe it's possible. For those of you who went, I don't know. There you go. Here's the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the energy of looking forward to the future and having passed all the obstacles that have stood in your way. You're now on the other side of all of that. And the moon is showing you the entire horizon so that you can aim yourself in any direction you choose. And we have the Devil card. This is the Capricorn Major Arcana. Now, it can represent a person. It can re represent your own fear and self-sabotage. It can represent anyone who might try to lure you off your path, right? Anyone or thing. So if you get distracted and let yourself fall back onto an old negative habit or around some old toxic people, yeah, your result is going to change dramatically. Here's that Queen of Pentacles. This is the energy of moving forward. Now, sometimes this means an ex-boss as well if you're changing jobs. And this is that new creative source energy of that Queen of Pentacles that we saw earlier. She's also the, uh, the Earth sign energy. So she's very grounded and very stable. So that would be Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, Major Arcana. We have the Two of Cups. This is the energy of divine alignment, being in a place where you are mind melding, whether it's work, where you have someone you're working with and everybody's really unfocused to create the best possible thing for everyone, or to be in a place where you're in alignment with your soul's path. This can also mean soulmate, if, if it's part of the relationship energy for you. There's that empress I was talking about. See the difference in the two zodiac wheels? The empress is showing you a framework to build upon. And the emperor is showing you a fully completed framework. So, here comes a new beginning right after you've started up here with this energy of being in a place where you're really getting your motivation going. This is the beautiful energy of the empress coming in, the divine feminine, the goddess energy, the creator and create, you know, creative source for all things new. Oh, and we're going to have a match set here with this king and queen of pentacles. So loving that, the king of pentacles is the king Midas energy where you are in a place of solidly grounded financial stability and you won't be going anywhere anytime soon because he digs his heels in. And the underlier is the nine of swords. This is the energy of feeling that change. You got some changes happening here. And you're going, oh, I don't know. Is it going to happen? I'm not sure. Can I do anything to make it happen faster? You're in your head too much, right? So that's the eight of swords right before the nine. But it starts off here with this energy of, of self-doubt and, and should I be doing something. Let yourself realize that fear shows up and the, and the energy of, of worry shows up anytime you're going to take a step out of your comfort zone. And you're definitely doing that because you're moving forward in the energy of not having gone past this for a hot minute. So just keep, keep your pace going and know that the universe will bring you to it and bring you through it. You don't have to worry about that part. You just have to keep your eye on the prize and don't get distracted by other things that are not part of what you want to achieve. And we're going to start with our next clarifying deck. This is the energy of being very much in a place of victory. This is the Cancer Major Arcana. The, not Cancer. Is it Cancer? Oh my goodness. Yeah, Cancer. There you go. Had to think for a second. <laughs> the word jumped out before I could. Before I could think about it. Yes, it is the Cancer Major Arcana. And it is the Chariot. It is the Hollywood card. It means upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Being in a place where all things turn to the best possible result and the, the highest good. So being in the energy of success, victory, and it has wheels. So it's coming in very quickly. 
So we'll, this is where you're seen in the limelight and you're considered being like an, uh, uh, the, the go-to person for this particular thing. So let's see what else we have. If I can remember my own thing here. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Yeah, that was a case where my, my psychic mind knew the answer, but my thinking mind wanted to run behind and check. That's that control thing we talked about, right? So just let it flow. Here we go. I was talking to myself as well. So here's the Four of Swords, which is where we're in a place of having wasted a whole bunch of energy on worrying and we don't want to be in a place of keeping that vibe going so you got to set yourself down and like release get get out of the head get out of your mind thoughts get out of the energy of constantly second guessing yourself just assume the universe has already done it. Remember, we're believing for it before it ever happens. That's what that nine of pentacles is about. Allowing yourself to believe that the universe has already aligned all the right things for you. And all you have to do is stay focused on, yes, I receive. Right? And don't get in your way with a bunch of fear. Well, part of this is letting yourself restore. And maybe you've lost some sleep. Allow yourself to get back into the energy because you've got the eight and nine of swords. So... It's definitely worrying you. This is the moment where you just dial it back and go, okay, look, I've done as much as I can for this. I'm doing all the right things that continue to show up. And I know that I'm doing my very best. And if it's right for me, it's going to align. So allow yourself to get into the energy of releasing your fear and let yourself get back to your power. Know, you know, talk to yourself about, I, I'm really good at what I do. I know this is for me. If it's not for me, the universe will not, wouldn't have brought it to me. So just allow yourself to release and restore. And sometimes we just need to get some sleep, right? There's your two of pentacles a second time showing up. There he is over here, and it's telling you again, stay with the flow. The resurrection is coming through. So you don't want to get distracted and look away because you're in the place where you want to catch it as soon as it, it heads your direction. We have the Libra Major Arcana, the Justice card. This means right decisions being made by you and for you. And in this energy, it's a very balanced energy as you go through the process of negotiation. And there's your resurrection energy right across. So you might have thought that this has fallen off. That's what you're waiting for up here. You might be in a place of panic thinking, oh, well, they didn't call me. So I guess somebody else got the job. Just be still. Keep your focus. The offer's coming because that's what you thought was not happening. And there it is it's telling you stay in the groove. Don't give up. And there it is coming through for you. <laughs> and True to form, we have the Eight of Swords again. The clarity, I think, is going to clear this energy for you. That Ace of Swords is going to come in and clear the, the worry of the Eight of Swords where you feel like you need to get in there and, and move some pieces around. Don't do anything. It's not your move. The universe is making the move. You just focus on your energy of victory. And you may not know what that's going to be. Just best possible outcome in your mind. King of Cups, this is somebody who really genuinely cares about you and wants your highest good. And they are telling you, don't worry, everything's going to be okay. There's the everything's going to be okay, Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the seal of approval from the universe and is the highest holy blessing. This is the beautiful elixir of life that will help you to move through all challenges and all the things that you need are being given with this beautiful energy. Eight of Cups, you've got that. You've got a lot of doubles coming out here. So there's the double Eight of Cups. That's you moving forward. L you've passed all the challenges. You've learned all the lessons. And Archangel Michael is here to help you along the way of that path. We have the Tower. Do not be afraid. It is a good energy. The Tower means whatever's been blocking you and that energy of holding on is now removed. This lightning strike is the universe coming in to take that Tower down 
effortlessly. That means you don't have to take it apart brick by brick, and you're freed. If you were held captive in that energy, you'd be glad to see that tower get blown up. Now we have the Two of Swords reminding you, eyes are covered. That means letting go of your need to see it before you believe it, right? You got to believe it before you see it. And it's not going to happen logically. This is telling you, don't try to use your logic here. This is full on universe using the manifestation of all good things. And you have to be in a place of receiving that and allowing it. Miracles are never logical. We have the Queen of Cups. Now, we don't want to get into a pity party here. You can remember something from the past and only in the way of looking at it as, here's where I started and look how far I've come, right? Don't let yourself get caught up in the negative nostalgia. That's nobody's, no use for nobody. That'll put you in that Four of Swords and that Eight of Swords energy. And we just got out of that. Eight of Rods coming in right on top of the Two of Pentacles. So keep yourself moving in the energy of creation. Keep your ideas and your energy flowing. As you do this, this Eight of Rods comes in with lots of communication, lots of negotiation, and maybe even air travel. Lots of blooming new ideas. Now, there's the financial offer. This Page of Pentacles is saying, hey, so that's time for you to take action when the financial offer shows up. They're going to want you to agree to whatever amount. And it looks like it's a really good amount because it is the Ten of Pentacles next. And there might be some competition or your own kind of freak out moment. Don't let yourself get caught up in other people's little melee here. This is the moment where you get to let go of all the negativity. And you're not by yourself in this five of rods energy. There's someone standing with you battling the other three people away. So if you've got some competition for the job, it looks like they're not going to be able to get through. Here's the Three of Cups, which is the energy of the Seraphim, who are giving you a double portion and blessing you with the victory here. Queen of Rods, my Sagittarius Queen energy coming in here. My beautiful Saggies in their creative form. This is the fertility of the Queen of Rods, which means growth, new birth, new positions, new businesses. Remember, she can be very entrepreneurial and she's the feminine. So she's in her creative mode along with this Queen of Pentacles here, who's also there in the creative energy. The Queen of Cups is creative, but this one is facing backwards. So she's not not really any help <laughs> at this moment. So here's the Ace of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a brand new platform, a rejuvenated form of income, something bringing you back to the place of having the financial stability for a really good energy. Eight of Pentacles coming in. This is polishing your skills. It's considered the apprentice card. And this is the card that comes in when we need to improve what we what we know about something so that we can literally earn more abundance through our knowledge of it. Nine of Cups, heart's desire being granted. This is a yes from the universe for this beautiful Empress energy to come through and assist you in the creation of this. So you are getting what you want and all of this financial abundance is tied to it. And Archangel Michael comes in again, King of Swords with the King of Pentacles, solid energy of protection and abundance. Now, that looks like all this fear energy or this worry energy or this just negative worrying that maybe, oh, I don't know if I've done the right. This is past. And you're spending your time looking at something that doesn't exist anymore. We get turned around sometimes. That's what she's done. Okay. And you get turned around looking backwards at the past. And then you start trying to, you know, pick it apart. Do not do this. This is dead energy. Turn your little self around, and once you realize, oh, well, this makes me feel bad to think about this story that I'm telling that happened to me, and, and this happened to me, and but it happened to me. When, let it go. It happened. Past tense. You have a bigger story in front of you, and if you want to change the, the narrative of what your story is for your life, you must move toward the change, not toward what's already happened. So... Get out of the pity party, let go of the past, and let yourself move forward. 
Now, if you're grieving something and it's just been a hot mess, I'm not telling you, you know, that you have some limit to that. Grieving is different. But this is about judging yourself or someone else and holding on to unforgiveness of yourself or someone else. So as soon as you're able to release that, you can move forward and, and create better for, than what you have right now. So my Saggies have a beautiful, beautiful month of June. This is an amazing reading with lots of confirmation of, of repeating cards. So many blessings to you all. I send you lots of love and light, and I will see you again in July. Don't forget we have the daily readings always available. I do them every day and the weeklies. So many blessings to you and enjoy those readings. And don't forget, click on that like button. That sure helps a lot. Thank you so much. Namaste, my friends.